Meet Corey Haas. He's a lot like other children his age, with one big exception. Corey was born with a rare genetic disease that left him virtually blind. Corey Haas has a retinal degeneration called Labor's congenital amaurosis. It's a childhood form of retinitis pigmentosa. If you think of the eye as a camera, the back of the eye, the retina, is the film. And in Corey's retinal degeneration, it's the back of the eye that is not working correctly. It's like the film and the camera becoming fogged and not working correctly. Being a first time mom, I didn't know that there was actually a problem until my babysitter said, look, he's not like the other child that I have in my daycare because he's not looking at things, he's not reaching for things right in front of him. It's very heartbreaking to see him drop something and not see it and uh, just keep searching for it and says he can't see it when meanwhile it's right there in front of him. I started feeling hopeful when we actually got the diagnosis as to what was wrong with Corey's eyes. Um, and then from there, you just hope and pray that something's working. Eager to improve their son's vision and prevent potential total blindness, the Haases entered Corey into a clinical trial at the University of Pennsylvania where, under the direction of Gene Bennett, Albert McGuire, and Catherine High, Corey underwent an experimental gene therapy procedure. Corey had his eyes dilated and he was placed under an operating microscope so that the instruments that deliver the therapeutic virus could be placed in the eye and that the virus could be delivered directly to the cells that need it. The virus carried the gene which Corey is missing and allowed the defective cells to produce the protein which they did not produce before this treatment. And that resulted in restoration of the biochemical blockade in his disease, allowing him to see. While the restoration of Corey's vision in one eye was recognized throughout the world as a hopeful breakthrough in the potential of gene therapy, it was felt and seen most dramatically by Corey and his family. We were going to the zoo four days after surgery. And so we're walking in <clears throat> to the zoo and Corey goes, the sun's hurting my eyes. That's never happened. It's been a long time coming to have some success in gene therapy. And I think we are just seeing the glimmer of the first real successes in gene therapy now. The success of this particular gene therapy for Corey and Labor's congenital amaurosis was a real milestone in the field in that it showed that in fact you could do this type of treatment and restore vision. It's indescribable the, the emotions that I go through in seeing all of these studies take place and seeing the results. Uh, I myself have cried when I've seen Corey's. It's just amazing to me. But what is even more amazing to me is how incredible these patients are in the clinical trial. They are the real pioneers.